Hi everyone, Kelsey here with another episode of So What's New? I am so excited for today's episode because you and I are going to be taking an in-depth look at the brand new collection from Tula Pink called Tiny Beasts. We've all been so excited for this collection to come in store and it is here and it's a smaller scale collection from Tula Pink and it focuses on backyard animals and what they might be up to when we're not looking. So let's get started. So first we're gonna take a look at Bear With Me. This particular print comes in two colorways and let's take a look at Tula's amazing detail right now. We have a honey bear right here poised underneath a dripping beehive, hoping to catch some of that liquid gold that's coming out. He is surrounded by striped honeybees, busily conjuring his favorite snack. So hopefully you can see with the camera zoomed way in, all of this amazing detail and color Tula Pink has included in Tiny Beasts. And as we're taking a look at the cotton, I'm gonna poke in some of my, my choices of canvases and vinyls that we sell pre-cut. This is just a regular old um, canvas. It's turquoise, it's an 18 by 30 inch piece for $3. And it really pulls out the color of the beehive, as you can see, and his nose. It would be, be a nice compliment if you're making a bag. So we're gonna do that throughout the video so I can give you some ideas of what really looks good. Here is Bear With Me on the purple background and oh my gosh, do we have a good match for this one. So nice and zoomed in so you can really see the detail and look at this lime green vinyl to pull out those colors. It is stunning, oh my goodness. All right, so we are moving right along. We're gonna take a look at one man's trash. Can you, can you guess which animal is featured in one man's trash? If you guessed a raccoon, you got it. <laughs> so this is very zoomed in. I wanted it to be zoomed in so you can see. Look at that right there. Okay, so one man's trash. Tiny raccoons go searching for treasure in the garbage cans. There are so many little treasures to find in this print, including soda cans, fish bones, banana peels, wish bones, and one raccoon desperately clutching the greatest treasure of all, a half-eaten apple. Yum. So hopefully as I was reading these things to you, you were able to catch some of the detail that is in this amazing print. One man's trash. So the raccoons also come on, and, and while we have this camera going, this is for full scale there, and then we zoomed in our overhead camera so you could really see the detail. What's nice about Tiny Beast is that this is gonna be great for your smaller scale projects like your wallets and your cosmetic bags, but still large enough if you wanted to make something bigger out of this. And also, it's not just for bag making, Free Spirit has done it again with a handful of free PDF patterns available on their website that you can download and get to quilting right away with um, Tiny Beasts. Alrighty, so once again, I brought over some amazing vinyls that go with these. This is the um, pre-cut vinyl pink. We sell these strips online in either 18 by 27 inch pieces or 18 by 54 inch pieces, depending upon the size of your project. So definitely check out our pre-cut vinyl selection. Okay, now we're getting to my favorite print. Let's show you for scale, it's right here. This is Dear John. And now we're gonna use the overhead camera and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it in Tula's words. So Deer John features a flowering antlered polka dotted deer camouflaged among the flora nibbling on grass and berries. Isn't it beautiful? I, this is my favorite print. I just love it so much. These colors scream my middle name. Once again, if you're looking for a vinyl, um, we have a bunch of different options. And if you wanna go the turquoise route, that canvas I brought over would be amazing as well. 
and Dear John comes in two glorious colors. First one's my favorite, and here's the second one in the yellows and oranges with the turquoise polka dots. And these, these prints from Tiny Beast, they're all gonna go with previous true colors pieces. So if you have any of Tula Pink's previous colors, these are gonna look nice with it if you're working on a larger project like a quilt and you need some other patchwork in there. Okay, so next we're gonna take a look at Oh Nuts. Some Technicolor squirrels are preparing for the coming winter and collecting as many striped acorns as they possibly can. So that was um, a front look there for you and here's the nice zoomed in look. So you can see the striped acorns and um, the really cool squirrels and here it is on a turquoise and pink. And as you can see, the, the squirrels are going every which way. So it is sort of directional, but it isn't. You can really use this fabric in many different ways. And here is one of them. This is the Santorini tote. I know I just showed it in a prior video, but I showed you the extra large size, the biggest size included in the pattern. And this is gonna be the purse size, which is a much more manageable everyday wear type thing. And of course it looks amazing out of Tula's Tiny Beast and our matching soft vinyl. Um, the vinyl comes by the yard, of course, or in pre-cuts and Joan, thank you, Joan. She made this for us too. She's on a Santorini kick. <laughs> she made a little uh, tassel that matches as well. So we sell this hardware, of course, and um, kind of just to give you an idea of what Tula Pink Tiny Beast O Nuts looks like all made up and the purse size Santorini tote. Next up, we have the Painted Ladies print. This is an ombre wash of color of layered polka dots. And Tula really did an amazing job of making ladybugs interesting all across the width of the fabric. So we will take a close up look at this as well. Um, and you can see the turquoise goes to lime yellow, Roy G. Biv basically. And this is just such a fun print. It comes in two different colorways. Oh, look at how awesome. And then I guess while we are looking at the ladybugs, of course we got Tula Pink's 108 inch wide backing. And in free spirit fashion, it is very soft. It's like a sateen. Um, once again, 108 inches wide would make an amazing backing on your quilt. It's also very wearable. And just like the smaller scale print, you have an ombre effect throughout the width of the fabric. So if you're making something with Tula Pink's Tiny Beast, like a quilt, I would definitely choose this as your backing. And you have options, just like with the smaller scale, the wide back, so soft and snuggly, comes in two different colors. So there's half of it. The most perfect painted ladies. And then here's the other side. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Outfoxed. And at first you may just see green florals, but when we take a closer look at it, do you start to see that you're being Outfoxed? Um, you'll see several energetic foxes leaping away in an effort to hide amongst the blooms and escape capture from their latest prank. So once again, really, really amazing detail from Tula. And um, of course we have vinyl to go with it. And um, this particular print comes in two different colors. We have the beautiful, beautiful green and then a beautiful pink with the foxes. It's all I can see now that we've uh, talked about outfoxed. <laughs> okay, some may say I've saved the best for last. I don't know. This one's called Who's Your Dandy? Uh, so with this one, the hedgehog stands out right away, right? But let's look at it in detail. 
and we're gonna see some lovable hedgehogs that have become part of the landscape and transformed into living dandelions. Their seeds blowing away in the windy field of wildflowers. Wow, right? Tulip Pink's imagination amazes me. And I love that she writes these little stories about each and every print because it adds so much value. Yep, this is, this is a special piece. Look at those dandelions drifting away. So I hope I've inspired you to create with Tiny Beasts. I know I am so excited. I can't wait to make something with this collection. It's all available in store or online at sewing.net. Thank you so much for watching.